Let's get into the McDonald, uh, the Ben McDonald portfolio um, portfolio review. So he's saying uh, general review plus areas to improve that I can work on through my final year of uni. So you've got a breakdown of the scene here. Wait a minute. You said you just posted a scene. There we go. There it is. There it is. Okay, so you got your breakdown. I'm going to skip that and we'll just look at these three. This says, what is it? What is this? What is this Houdini action here? My first full environment took seven weeks from research to final completion. I wanted to take this environment as an opportunity to learn a number of new techniques and concepts. Um, it's a personal challenge. Sneaky puppy picture. What? Oh. <laughs> you got a doggo in your profile pic, bro. Um, so this environment's pretty cool. It It's really... Uh, hang on. Where, how long ago is this? This was a year ago. It's some soft shapes. I'm curious as to like... And then some hard edges to just kind of show the geometry. Whenever you see a hard edge like that, you need to somehow solve it, whether it be floating normals on the edge to kind of like change the normals or like just beveling it and softening the edges and weighting the normals. Scott, what's up, man? Overall, this space is quite interesting. I don't know why there would be an exit sign up here. It'd probably be some form of a light, like a red light. Because this type of exit sign is going to be for like spaces where people commonly travel or traverse, right? I love these types of uh, progression gifts. Super cool. Hey, that follow though. Um, let's let's look at your so we got your temple scene. Man, this one's solid. Right off the bat, it's just got super strong composition. This stuff up here, I, I just don't even like I don't even think you need to see up there. Like if this was a really wide angle shot, I think you'd be super nice. You're going to pull the sewer scene from your portfolio soon? Nice. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for thanks for hanging out for as long as you have. Dude, I love the addition of the butterflies. They look a little big. But, like, see how wide angle this is? If you did something similar to this one, because... All the stuff up here is not really relevant to like what's what's going on down here. Very cool. Yeah, see this? This is oh man, and the puddles and the uh oh, dude, that's so cool. So the fidelity on the ground where it meets the rock, for example. There's just there's not enough stuff kinda like you should put a little bit of plant work around here just to kind of mask that. Like you like you did over here. Just so it's not just a rock going into a ground that's relatively smooth. I remember you working on this. Pretty strong overall. And it's just more about like thinking about composition a little bit more on your on your next piece. Let's let's look at this one now. Let's see what's going on here. Um Hang on. Something is going on on my phone. Uncharted vibes for sure. This one's really um Is this not going to Is this still loading? <laughs> 
This might still be uploading. Hey, no problem, dude. If uh, if you don't see the VOD, message me on the Discord, on the Tay Discord, and uh, we'll we'll figure it out for you. So this one looks pretty cool. I, what's going on here? There's like, there's like scan stuff going on. What is this? Mega scans. So these just mega scan trees. Is that why this is like clipping off here? So right now everything feels, ooh, dang. Wait, what? Man, that is really interesting. Dude, okay. This, I mean, this scene's really cool, but what you've got going on here, that's super intriguing. Do you see this right here? I will say that a lot of the elements feel quite random and I would probably, I would, hmm. I would try and get some separation in here so everything's very on the same plane in probably good ways. I don't know what's going on here, but it hurts my brain. Probably in good ways. <laughs> yeah, that lens FOV ramp is going crazy, right? So I would definitely try and push like you're like, oh, what's happening? It, it just, it needs uh, some separation using the color of the background as a fog just to push the building back a little bit and push this tree back a little bit as well is really going to help the overall like depth. I think you're going to get a whole lot more out of it if you do that. This is growing on me though. It's really interesting. It still feels like it needs some unification, like uh, the foliage is a little bright everywhere. If it if that could be like blended in a little bit more, maybe a little darker in the value, just so just so it's not drawing your attention away. You know what I mean? Because you're like, oh, what's oh, I'm looking here and now I'm looking looking here and then here. You do the fog and then you kind of tone those back and really just let it all kind of focus here. And I think you're going to be in a pretty good spot. These guys might be a, a bit bright as well. Whereas the trees are a bit dark. Maybe the trees are too dark. See, there seems to be a lot of balanced stuff going on that it just needs to be brought together a little bit more. Pretty cool, though. And I really like this uh, this kind of masking presentation you got going on here. It's fancy. You got even some chromatic aberration going on here with the, that blue pole on the side. Yeah, if you change this chain to a rope, you're probably going to get a more of a unified feeling. I totally uh, agree. Interesting, interesting scene. I mean, you got another year. How fast did you, uh, how fast did you put this scene together? This is three months ago. Past two or so months. So it took you about a little over two months, maybe. So if you got a year, usually in the end of your schooling and that, that last year, you've got what, like 
depending on how the school is structured, maybe you've got time to do a few more scenes. Cause I, I bet if you could, if you could get two more scenes in here by the end of uni that are really like popping, get some variety in there. Like I wouldn't remove this until you get like your other two remove this right before you're getting ready to start showing your portfolio for jobs. Like if you were to do two more scenes, remove this when you add the last scene, that way people see your whole portfolio when it's updated on our station with the newest scene and then you hide this one. And then um, I would just, yeah. Think about the variety too. Like what you're doing temples, you've got some uh, dilapidated forgotten building. Uh, do you wanna do another sewer scene? What What's another scene you wanna do? Think about like the, do you wanna do any sci-fi stuff? You wanna do futuristic sci-fi stuff? I think going forward, it's just thinking about what you want to do next. But I mean, you're doing some cool stuff and you're challenging yourself, which is really cool. I'll wait. I'll wait for uh, any questions or responses from you in chat and then I'll get out of here. I had some sci-fi originally, but I found I didn't enjoy it. So the quality lacked. Oh, no, I totally get that. I got you. I got you. Um, yeah, you got to do what's fun too. Definitely. Uh, do you have any questions before I get out of here? Mr. McDonald. This is pretty solid as well. Let me just scroll through this. Probably not in this one, but I would have liked to see a props, a props breakdown. Just seeing all the stuff that you used. Uh, Bits and bobs is perfect for the blog. Yeah. So if you've, if you've got a blog experimenting and, and trying stuff and testing things out, Yeah, this is good. Very technical. It explains to me why you're a technical environment artist. Because right now I don't see technical environment artists here. But maybe how you're building the scenes. If you can kind of dive into like maybe one technical challenge that you do in each one of these. That would be pretty cool. Like when I saw the Houdini logo, I was like, wait, but like, what? how did you, what do you mean? What do you mean Houdini? You know, so thinking about using Houdini to help you build your stuff or using some technical aspects or challenging yourself in technical ways to build while you're building your scenes would be good. But yeah, it's cool stuff, man. All right, I'm going to get out of here because it's late. It's late, but I'll, I'll see you guys on Sunday. We got uh, Ori. In the Will of the Wisps, what, the third third stream or something like that? I don't know. I don't know. But thanks, everyone, for hanging out. I'm going to, uh, we're going to host someone. We're going to, yeah, we're going to host someone, I think. Let's see here. We got the creative. Let's go. How do you, what? Browse? Creative, yes. Yes. Art. 3D. 3D modeling. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Just trying to find a good stream here. <laughs> 